HDMI cable, AV cable, power cable, screw for underside to change the height of the projector. Remote control, we'll need probably need two AAA batteries. Instructions, simple projector, screen cover, lens there obviously, focus ring, manual keystone correction, works perfectly well normally on most machines I've used, coming around the side, cooling fan, you've got your headphone socket for which you can put um, speakers in as well, AV connection for regular TVs and such like, two USB slots, one in one out I believe, that's a five uh, volt out so you can power or charge other things from it. Uh, SD card slot along the top, HDMI port, VGA port, infrared receiver at the back and an infrared receiver at the front which is quite good, you don't always see that so it doesn't matter which way you're operating it from. Other side, power supply, underside, rubber feet, uh, screw for either tripod or the provided little screw voltage power rating and also on top you've got your various control power up down left right zoom and all the rest of it I'll try that again so this is the basic menu setting on the projector um, first menu you have is picture mode that allows you to do things like um, change it from standard mile or custom users and all those sorts of things like that depending on how you want the picture to show up. You've got projection mode, that's for like mounting it on ceilings and reversing it and all that sort of stuff. Just keep pressing that. Colour temperatures, okay, depending on how you like your, your projection, whether you want it warm or medium or cold or user stated or cool. Lots of different settings there. Uh, aspect ratio is your 16 to 9, normal or zoom, etc., and noise reduction. There's other menu settings, there's your sound where you can use your graphic equalizer, you've also got surround sound, you can set a clock and timers and sleep timers. Uh, you've also got your on screen options there like language and color range and software update if you've, uh, yeah, if you've got it on a USB. You can also restore your factory to self bolt. Um, and that's back to picture mode. So there's your basic um, menu. You've also got your input selection where you can choose from. Um, I need to focus that a little bit. Out. Um, try that again. You've got your input selection. You can choose from your USB, because I've got a pen drive plugged in, your AV cables, uh, your HDMI, or your SD card if you've got something plugged into the SD card slot. At the moment, I've got a simple um, movie setup. I'm going to tweak the focus, as you should do when you. Play a Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray now that I've got um, set up here. We're going to have a listen to the sound quality and then we're going to plug some speakers in to see what the sound quality is like there. So there's the sound quality from the inbuilt speakers. I've got a volume control on the remote control. Turn that up, see how loud it goes. It's a dark screen because it's an opera. So the loudness is probably fine for a, a small bedroom or something, um, probably two watt speakers, something like that. Acceptable, nothing brilliant except it's got a simple headphone outlet and I've got some basic speakers, well some computer speakers. If I can find the headphone socket, there it is over there. So, you can see that the sound is considerably better now. It used to be for watching movies at home. The world was flat. Not anymore. Okay, this is doing as good as anything now. Release the this is a demonstration. The beginning from flat. Blu ray. In your face. The room's not really too dark, um, no curtains down or anything. It's intense. Extreme. You can see it's playing in full HD. Exciting. All 3D experience you can get. Me, she likes you. Well, imagine that's playing through some speakers. 
Right, let's change now and go to the um, pen drive. I've got a pen drive plugged in. I'll just stop the relay for a second. Getting your home entertainment system ready for 3D okay. is easy. That's called start watching. Now that's that stopped. Let's change the input channel now to the USB and see what I've got on there. See how this works. So it's obviously allowing you to uh, look through a variety of things, what you've got stored on your uh, pen drive. I think I've got a photo on there, let's have a look. And there we go, it's picked up my cat picture. And there's my cat. Okay. Let's go back and we'll see if I've got any music on there, which I should have a piece of music, I think. And there we go. You get the usual controls. It's fairly standard on most projectors nowadays. 